Hyperbole. Everybody say hyperbole. Hyperbole. Hyperbole, Abbas, is when you use an extreme exam. No, it is interrupting. Does Sahih Al Bukhari say that Muhammad married a six-year-old okay. child? What's the logic? I will explain the logic. No, no, no. I'm going. No. So as go on, a Christian, go on. you accept Sahih Bukhari? Yes? No. I'm a Christian brother, but let me tell you, a real Christian person would never say a single bad word about Thank Muhammad. Is Muhammad a prophet? I can expose you. Is Muhammad a prophet? Is Muhammad a prophet? Listen. Answer. He said, I'm not going to brainwash myself. Standing in front of you is the very example of a man who has brainwashed himself. So, you asked about the evidence. You asked about the evidence. Okay, you asked about the evidence. Where do you get your source from first? Sahih al Bukhari. Do you accept Sahih al Bukhari? Do you accept Sahih al Bukhari? Uh, I accept that Muslims. Well. I accept that Muslims oh, accept Muslims it. Accept. So, yes. Uh, no. So do you accept it? Bukhari, it's an authority have, to you. No wait. They have a lot I'm of information. Do, do I accept it in what no, sense? No. Everything is Sahih Bukhari is yes, 100. percent It has to be authenticated. Oh, so you don't believe no, Sahih no, is Sahih? No. I'm no. Asking you, do you know the process? Of so Sahih is not Sahih. Wait, wait, wait. No. Wait, 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 wait. What does Sahih mean? No, no, wait, 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 wait. What does Sahih mean? First, wait. What does Sahih mean? What does Sahih mean? What does Sahih mean? Means reliable or authentic. Okay, go on. Because they have put a lot of hadith within the Sahih al Bukhari. So Sahih isn't Sahih. You put it inside. Oh, we did it. Yes. It's the Christians that corrupted Sahih al Bukhari, not the Muslims. It was the Christians who corrupted Sahih al Bukhari, not the Muslims. Can you tell me anything about Bukhari? This is the kind of conspiracy theory that speculates we never went to the moon. You're not answering that question. Can you tell me anything about Bukhari? Tell me something about Bukhari, what you know about him. What do you know about Bukhari? He wasn't an Arab. He didn't live at the time of Muhammad. Okay. He was from Iran. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Okay, fair enough. Persia. So you don't, so you don't know where he's from? <laughs> oh, oh, no, I don't know where he's from. I don't know where he's from. So you don't Am know I right about him not being an Arab? So you're using that. Wait, wait. Wait. Oh, wait. You're so because I got one fact wrong, no, he's now going to say I know nothing wrong. about no, Sahih al Bukhari. No, 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 nothing. So, Sahih al Bukhari. What is Sahih al Bukhari? Someone you don't know, you accept. Is Sahih al Bukhari a book or a person? Someone you don't know about. Is Sahih, is Sahih al Bukhari a book or a person? Is it a book or a person? You know, you know is it a book or a person? Is it a book or a person? Right. I'm asking you who oh, because I got the Iran thing wrong, that no. means I don't know anything. So you got homework to do this that. This is the homework kind of logic. So now you got homework to do This is kind of I'm logic. Sahih al Bukhari. Next week. Does it say that in Sahih al Bukhari? We'll do this next does it say Muhammad married a six year old child? I just gave you homework. Does it say it? Why are you frightened to answer the question? Answer the question. Does Sahih al Bukhari. Look, bro, you know what's going to happen? In the, in the video, we're just going to put the reference where it shows that Sahih al Bukhari says Muhammad married a six year old child. So now answer the question. Does Sahih al Bukhari say that you, Muhammad you married a six year old child? I'm not asking you a question, do you know why? Because you didn't answer one of my questions. Oh, I think I did. You asked no, me what do you, you know you about you Sahih did. al Bukhari you you and I did. started answering you know your question. You, never, you, you, you know what you're doing you running? You're running. No, I'll give you homework for this. You're next week. making noise. Next week, come back. Tell answer me the question. Tell me you who stood was. there tell me who and you said, let's talk about Aisha. Have you heard him talk about Aisha yet? No. 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 What has he talked no about? Question. He's no. talked about whether I know anything yes. about Sahih al Bukhari. No. As a Christian, he accepts. Let's do this again. As a Christian, he accepts. Does Sahih al Bukhari say that Muhammad married a six-year-old okay. child? What's the logic? Does it say that? Explain the logic. Okay, I'll explain Christian, the logic. As a Christian, wait, I will explain speak, the logic. No, no, no. I'm going. No. So as go on, a Christian, you accept Sahih Bukhari? No. Ladies and gentlemen, let me ex I'll answer that question. I'll answer that question. The question is, why am I quoting a book that I don't believe in? Why am I quoting Sahih al Bukhari, which states that Muhammad married a six year old child and then had sex with her at years old? Something that I would put money on the fact that these good Muslims would not do with their own children. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'm answering your question. Be patient. 
I'm answering your question. Because Muslims accept that Sahih al-Bukhari is an authority. They use Sahih al-Bukhari to interpret their Quran. They state that Muhammad is the best example for all mankind. So, if Muhammad married a six-year-old child and had sex with her when she was nine, then that means that the best example in history is an example that we should follow, which means that it's okay for us to marry six-year-old children and have sex with them when they are nine years old. Now, most good Muslims are better than their prophet because most good Muslims would never do what their prophet did. And if they would never do what their prophet did, why is he an example to us? By comparison, we Christians would want to do everything that Jesus did, without exception. If we could walk on water, we would want to do that. We would want to love our enemies as Jesus did. We would want to bless our opponents as Jesus did. We would want to live a life of forgiveness as Jesus did. There is nothing in the example of Jesus that a Christian would not like to imitate. But by comparison, there are many things that Muhammad did that lots of Muslims would never want to do. And why? Because those Muslims are better than Muhammad. When you follow Muhammad, you become a worse person. When you follow Jesus, you become a better person. So, when Aisha was born, let me answer Abbas's question. Yes. Abbas says yes. that our Lord will punish those, will punish those no, 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 first one. who first, are his no, no, no. enemies. I have my two questions. First one was Jesus says, hate your mother, hate your father, hate your brother, hate your sister, hate your wife, hate your children, and even hate yourself if you want to be my disciple. Is he not preaching hate there? Great. Let me answer this question. Let me deal with this question. Let me deal with this question. Anyone who has done any rudimentary study of the New Testament, unfortunately Abbas hasn't. He just has a quote book that he quotes. Like Zakia Naik and Shabia Ali. Notice he's interrupting. He asks a question, but he doesn't want to hear the answer. So do you want to hear the answer? The crowd is asking you to show up, Babas. So, uh, one second, uh, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. So, Jesus did. The words that Abbas quotes are true. But Jesus uses a teaching method called hyperbole. Everybody say hyperbole. Hyperbole. Hyperbole, ladies and gentlemen, is when you use an extreme example of something that is not yeah, meant yeah, to be taken Bible. literally yeah, to Bible. teach a truth. Did you all hear that? Because Abbas wasn't listening. Like I said, he wasn't listening. Hyperbole. Everybody say hyperbole. Hyperbole, Abbas, is when you use an extreme exam. Notice interrupting. They were all silent, Abbas, because they want you to show up. Hyperbole, hyperbole is when you use an extreme example to demonstrate a point. But the extreme example is not meant to be taken literally. So, 
yes, when yes, Jesus yes, says, yes, hate yes, your mother yes, and yes, father, yes, that yes, is hyperbole. Yes, like when yes, Christ yes, said, yes, rip yes, out yes, your eye yes, or yes, cut yes, off yes, your yes, hand, yes, that yes, is yes, hyperbole. So, Abbas then asked another question about those that Christ will punish at the end. Notice the butt-hurt Salafist Muslim who can't listen to the answers to his own question. This Salafi. This, this particular Muslim believes that Christians are dumb cows. Dumb animals, because his Quran calls Christians and Jews are the worst of creatures. So tell me, who's the hate preacher, Jesus or Allah? Who's the hate preacher, Jesus or Allah? There you go. That's the hate preacher. No, you're going to wait until I answer all of your questions, Abbas. Do you want me to answer all of his questions? Okay. So Abbas asked, asked about, he asked about the judgment. Notice, he doesn't want to answer. He doesn't want to listen. He doesn't want to listen. So, forget about that. Hypocrite. Even the Muslims are asking him to shut up. And he still can't shut up. So, listen. Abbas is again right. And you've got to watch for these Christians in the park. Because Muslims will often do this. They will quote to us our own scripture, our own religion, our own doctrine in half in the hope that you are ignorant of it so that you can't reply. Notice he's still interrupting. So when Abbas speaks, I'm going to interrupt Abbas. And then when I interrupt Abbas, watch Abbas complain. Because that's what this supremacist is going to do. So, Abbas, Abbas said about Christ punishing his enemies. And he uses a parable. Everybody say parable. A parable, ladies and gentlemen, is a non-literal story to speak about another like truth. Like it's a parable. It's easy Hyperbole, parable. parables. Yeah, no parable. no a parable like that us. Christ so uses really about the last <laughs> judgment. Now, Abbas has got himself in trouble here. Because the parable that Jesus tells portrays Jesus Christ as the judge of the world. Calling you dogs. Who is the judge of the world, Abbas, except Allah? So who is Jesus Christ? God. Do I ever do I ever say I believe in the Bible? Oh, the Bible? so the Bible is gibberish. So Abbas, okay, hang on. Can, go I on. can I say something? You can reply now. Can I say no, according to Bible, Jesus the Bible is God. Gibberish. According to Bible, the word of God. Abbas has agreed that the Bible teaches that Jesus is God. Well done, Abbas. Continue. He's one step closer to the truth. What's your problem, Bob? What's your problem? What's my problem? I was just repeating you. Calm down, If you let me finish the sentence. Oh, wait! Did you just hear him complain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't I predict that that is exactly what Abbas would do? You all heard him interrupt me through my answer, right? And now I'm interrupting him, he wants to complain about it. If you could let me finish my sentence. Funny, Abbas, that is exactly how I felt five minutes ago. Continue. Continue. But he's actually taller than me. Yours was a lecture. So it's physically impossible. Yours was a lecture and we are not here for a lecture. Who wanted to hear my answer? Oh, wait, Abbas. Oh, Abbas, are you complaining? One word, he's
Hold it. Oh, is he complaining? Hold your spirit, hold your spirit man. Just hold it. Come on. I'm sure oh, you, you want do. me to I'm show? Sure you I'm sure you but you couldn't show up yourself. Can you? Can Again. You? Are you able to? Show How many times are we going to get you on film are doing are this? You, are you week in, week out, Abbas does the same. Yeah. He comes into a conversation. Yeah. He asks a question. Yeah. I try to answer. Yeah. He interrupts me continuously. I have to shout. He then complains about me shouting. Yeah. But the moment I interrupt him, it's like, oh, can you just show up and let me speak? Yes, but respectfully, you're just as hypocrite as he is. No, no, it's not hypocrisy. I'm not claiming it. Respectfully. I'm your Christian brother, but let me tell you, a real Christian person would never say a single bad word about Thank Muhammad. You. What a lie! I think we have a plant, ladies and gentlemen. I think we have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. Do you believe Jesus is God? Do you believe Jesus? And you believe in the Trinity? Right, wait, wait one second. I'm going to expose this guy. Let me expose this guy. Is Muhammad a prophet? Is Muhammad a prophet? I expose you. Is Muhammad a prophet? Is Muhammad a prophet? Answer. Answer as a Christian. Is Muhammad a prophet? As a Christian. As a Christian. Do you believe? Do you believe Muhammad is a prophet? Do you not recognize? Do you believe Muhammad is a prophet? He said yes. He said yes. Let me tell him yes, sir. Christians don't believe. Put your hand up if you're a Christian. Talking to yourself. No. Put your hand. Keep him up. Keep him up. You're Put your hand down yeah. if you believe Muhammad is a prophet. Look, uh, can you take it? Can you have? Can so you have, you're not a Christian, bro. You you're not a Christian. Can you have? You're not a Christian. I would follow Christ to my death. I would lay down my life for Christ any moment. You're not a Christian. So you're a Muslim. No, I'm a, I believe in Christ. I love Christ, and He knows I'm not Muslim. So let me tell you. You're not a Christian, brother. He's a hypocrite too. Let me tell you why. You're not a Christian, brother. Let me be. Civilized. Mohammed have a conversation. was not a prophet. Have a conversation, Mohammed intelligent not conversation. Not Did anyone hear him interrupt him when he was interrupting me? Oh, no. no. Oh, it's funny how this man who accepts Muhammad as a prophet is attacking me that didn't interrupt him. I'm not attacking you. Brother, no one believes that you're a Christian. You're not a Christian. These are the words of Jesus. Let him who's without this sin throw the first stone. Now, I understand that you're holding on to Muslims and hold them accountable that he married six year old and, and, had, and had sex with her nine years old. Do you understand. agree with that? Listen to me. Do you agree with it? That's that question. Do you Even agree with it? True. Do you Everybody agree with it? Knows about Muhammad, nobody knows about you. Do you agree with that it? That with the it's weird, God. isn't it? Hold Someone on. who's claiming Just to be a Christian is saying that Muhammad was great because he had sex with a nine-year-old child and saying Muhammad is a prophet whilst claiming to be a Christian. Do you believe he's a Christian? No one believes you, bro. You're busted. Jesus Christ was a divine entity that Do you believe Muhammad was a prophet? I just told you. Was that yes? Was that yes? The thing is, do you understand? Was that a yes? I will expose you to your hypocrisy too. What was that yes? Here's his hypocrisy. Don't be afraid. Here's the hypocrisy. He said these words. This guy isn't a Christian, brothers and sisters. He said these words. No Christian believes Muhammad was a prophet. Why did he walk away? I understand where it's coming from, yeah. Bob. Like, but let me finish. And the slightest bit where we're all moral people and we're all, exactly. we can all have a decent Talk discussion. Here, but when, when the agenda me gets one changed person. one way... Show me one oh, person who can come in. He's not listening to anybody. Mocking, listen, yeah. so. right? I'm going to say something, right? Yeah, we all believe there's no people. reason to criticise a bus like that. I don't dislike these people. I don't dislike them, right? Do you understand? But when we're all trying to live normally, right, and there's an agenda against our way of living, then obviously you're going to get jarred by it. A real Christian. A real, a real Christian. Christian. You're not so a real Christian. Slap me in my face no, listen, as listen, if I don't no, slap listen, you back. Listen, listen. I'm You're a real, not a real Christian. A real Christian. You're not a real Christian. A real Christian. You're not a real Christian. A real Christian is never intimidated. You're not a real Your Christian, bro. Is that you believe Muhammad was a prophet? No. no. You don't now. Listen. Have you changed your mind? No, I've not changed my mind. So is Muhammad a prophet? 
hear me out. Answer the question. If you're my Christian brother, answer the question. If you're my Christian I don't brother, believe you're a Christian. A I don't believe you're a Christian, okay. but we can have right. a conversation. Okay. But that conversation okay. has to be a two-way thing. Yes. So yes. I want to ask, and then you can answer, and then you can ask okay. me, and I will answer. The thing is, do you believe yes. that Muhammad? is a prophet of God. So you prepare to have the conversation based on divine truth or whatever you brainwash to believe. Yes, I am Which having, I it? am willing to have that conversation. Yeah, but now answer my truth? question. Did you hear me answer his oh, question and say yes? So I just you, said yes. Okay. Now you Don't answer say. my question. Go on. Do you believe Muhammad is a prophet? As a man of God, if Muhammad said that he experienced divine world, I, as a follower of Christ, would never tell to him he's a liar. Only because he was a mortal man, unlike Christ. Only so, because he had downfalls. It doesn't mean, your turn as to a, ask Christian, a question. I am not afraid of Muslims. Your, I never your turn to ask a question. You're afraid of Muslims, that's why you talk Is that like a question? This. Is no. that a question? Here's my well, question okay, to your you. Question. Do you understand, for example, how can Islam and Christianity reconcile. Are you, have, never, are you never able? Happened. Bro, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Never, I'm not bro, asking you. Never, never. Well, never. Respect. Okay, so let me answer I'm the question. You. Let me answer the I'm question. Divine wisdom. Let me answer the question. Are you answer? listening yes. to the question? Divine wisdom for the Christian is contained in the canon of scripture that we Christians call the Bible. That scripture teaches that Jesus Christ was crucified died on a cross and rose on the third day. That scripture teaches that there is one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. The Quran, the Quran by contrast, the Quran by contrast teaches that Christ was not crucified and did not rise on the third day and there is no one God that is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, which means, which means that these two things cannot be reconciled because the things that they are teaching are mutually exclusive. They can't both be true. Now, to the brief comment about that's three. If I have a Hafs Quran and a Wash Quran and a Duri Quran, how many Qurans do I have? Prove it. Prove it. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, there are variant texts of the Quran called Hafs, Wash and Duri. How many Qurans do I have? I don't know. I don't Three. <laughs> Three. Can you count? And that's just Three. Christians believe that the Father is not the Son, that the Son is not the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit is not the Father, but they have one and the same essence at the same time. I appreciate your point. Hold on, hold on. I appreciate your I'm point. talking with him. Unfortunately, you have not you ready for heard me, that's my question. You walked away, bro. Stop you have clowning. Not, you have not heard my question. I'm busy man, you know. I didn't you ask time, you, I didn't ask you what Quran says. Okay, because anyone can open the book and read it. I am asking you again and see if you can answer this question. By divine wisdom, can you answer, can, by divine wisdom, not information, just give me information, all the respect, that is sign of brainwashing. Now, with divine wisdom, can you tell me how can, how can you reconcile the, uh, the truth that is brought into, through Christianity and, and Islam? Can you actually able to do it Yes or no? Because if you okay. say no, at least you can be honest. Let me answer the question. Don't go back with information. Let me answer the question. I understand the word. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, the park is full of eccentrics, and I oh, fear that we have one right now. The question was, oh. do Christian, oh. can no, you Muslims. reconcile Islam and Christianity? Every Muslim will tell you that the source of Islam is the Quran and the Sunnah of Muhammad. I'm not misrepresenting Sorry. Islam by saying that. Every Christian will tell you that the Bible has authority for Christians as divine scripture. If the scriptures of the Bible say mutually exclusive and contradictory things to the Quran, they can't both be right. One of them has to be wrong. If the Quran says that Jesus Christ was not crucified and did not die on a cross, 
And the Bible says Jesus Christ was crucified and did die on a cross. Those are two contradictory truth claims. One of them is false. And lucky for us Christians, all the evidence is on our side. Every little bit of it supports our view. Everything, everything this gentleman said, with all due respect, is against sign of being brainwashed. Can I ask you one question? Just a moment. Just a moment. Here's the evidence. I'm not even talking to you. I'm talking to him. Here's, here's the evidence. Here's the evidence. Anyone, anyone, anyone who is open in mind and has a living mind will never reject anything but try to comprehend Do you believe it. Just that... a moment. Yeah. Wait, wait, no, no. I heard you. I heard you. I want to ask you a question, I though. I heard you. I, you have asked Hold me questions. Question. We're Hold doing questions. Question. Okay, question. okay, and then I'll ask you a question. Okay. How can you comprehend Anyone with living mind, again, is person who's not How in denial and does that not reject. Anyone who has well, open some... mind will realize well, well, that, in fact, is there a state of a human being where, in fact, Christ was not, not crucified. Is there such a state? And it's when people die and they go into the Hades, the world of the dead, and that's where the crucifixion, crucifixion no longer exists. So from one point of view, you can person? examine, you can examine that in fact some messages from Quran depict experiences that are no longer in the, world, in, the in the physical world, in our physical shoulder. state, but actually after we die. Because it's because good that we let him talk. One, the more he one talks, must the be more he, shit. I know he is. But the more he talks, oh, the more he exposes that he's not a Christian. Oh, You're talking like those hateful Muslims. You don't even know it. So, 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 so brother, one brother, brother one second, on, one second, on. one second. I just don't like the brother, agenda. You, you came into this conversation no. claiming to be a Christian. And you lied. And you lied. Yeah. The more Obviously, you talk, yeah. the no, more every Orthodox Christian will recognize that you are no Christian at all. Because, 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 I just confess, because, I down my oh wait, didn't he say have a conversation and don't moment. interrupt one another? On. Isn't that what he said at the beginning? Isn't that what he accused me of saying I'm not a man of God? Because it's, I interrupted. Because and yeah, isn't that what he's just done? Oh, look, he's interrupting still. That's what funny he's that. He's funny he's that. Funny. Ladies and gentlemen, every now and then at Speaker's Corner, you get a quack. <laughs> You get oh, someone every now and, now and, then. Every now and then. You get a sorry. You get a quack. You get a quack. He's not a Christian. He's not a Christian. You're a Christian sister. Do you recognize him as a Christian? You're a Christian brother. Do you recognize him as a Christian? You're a Christian brother. Do you recognize him as a Christian? Every Christian in this park does not recognize this man as a Christian. And the reason why is because he teaches, because he teaches another gospel apart from what the apostles teach. That's what they teach. So let me just let me just deal with this, bro, and then we'll come in. So how about this? Bro, notice he came into this conversation demanding that people. People listen to one another, and now he's not listening himself. So he doesn't practice what he preaches. He doesn't practice what he preaches. Jesus is so. Sorry, can I just say something? Go on. I'm Muhammad Ali. Okay. Does it does it mean he is Muhammad Ali? I don't what you're talking about, man. Exactly, and no one knows what you're talking about. Let me just help you out. No one knows what you're talking about. Look at this. Right, guys, guys. This brother. Are you going to listen to my reply? You aren't. You don't know the Christian faith. I don't know. You don't know Christianity. You don't know Christian faith. What you're teaching contradicts what the Bible teaches. Are you the saying, Bible? The Bible whoa, 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 why are you go interrupting? On. Go on. I thought you were the spiritual man. Go on. Remember how you jumped in earlier saying, go you're on. a hypocrite because you interrupted Abbas, and now you're interrupting no. me. You're, you're doing it again. You there, you're doing it again. So, brother, listen. Everyone who knows the Christian faith knows that what you're teaching is some kind of new age spiritual nonsense that has nothing to do with the teachings of the apostles. The Christian worldview is defined and has been defined by the church for 2,000 years 
We're very clear about what we believe. We've even wrote statements of belief so that everyone can know what we believe. And what I tell you, I guarantee that doesn't include is the belief that Muhammad was a prophet. You said Muhammad was a prophet. You are in error. You don't trust what the Bible says. You reinterpret the Bible to match your theology that you're making up I see. for okay. yourself. Okay. But the and the Bible, the the Bible condemns Jews private interpretation. Yeah. It condemns private interpretation. What we say is meant to go in line with what every Christian has said for 2,000 years. Jews don't believe Muhammad was a prophet. Full stop. This brother just lied. He said Jews believe that Muhammad was a prophet. Show me an Orthodox Jew or a Jewish rabbi that says Muhammad was a prophet. They don't believe that. Now let me reply. You're just lying, bro. Go on. Let me reply. But shall I interrupt you? If you wish, you're welcome to. Go on. Now, you just said, you just spoke about the church and you spoke about the book. In this case, perhaps you might have a point because... There you me, go. Well, let me finish. Because I have I, a point. Yes, because I am follower of Christ and the words of Christ. I'm not a follower Where do you get of, the words of Christ I'm not from? From my heart. There you go. He's just done it. From my I am heart. a follower of Christ and the words of Christ that I get from my heart. Yes, and let me finish. No Christian thinks finish. this way. And let me finish. I appreciate that you because you right now. No Christian right now, thinks this way. Right now. So you lied right when now. you said oh, you were a Christian. Okay. Don't you have now, a tree in your heart? JC, JC, we're going to wrap up soon. You ask, you uh, you ask, in your heart? Hold on. You ask, you ask me, but you didn't let me finish. You walked away, bro. However, Bible was written in John, in Luke, in Matthew, and, and letters to apostles, they all confirm what's in my heart. Why is that? It's because Jesus Christ came as an entity of forethought and foreknowledge. First, the truth of Christ has to be in your heart and then confirm it in the book. Up, Otherwise, you just up. brainwash yourself up, yeah. and you become nothing but you might as well say, I'm a party member, like I'm a communist party member, like I'm, a, I'm a fanatic Muslim, it's all fanaticism. The real truth of Christ must reign in your heart. Only then, Only you, as far as I'm cauterized, you can pick up the Bible and see how much of it is within you and see how poor you are if there's a little within you also. Once again, the words of Christ. Those who are without sin throw the first stone. So you can wrap it up. Now you tell me. I believe in Trinity. That's correct. And also, I believe in Christ. We're on the same page. However, I'm telling you. But no you also one, believe will, Muhammad will, is a prophet. I refuse to surrender to brainwash. You also believe I'm Muhammad is a prophet. Myself. So allow me to reply. Brothers, the, he said, I'm not going to brainwash myself. Standing in front of you is the very example of a man who has brainwashed himself. He is working from private interpretation and saying that what Jesus has said in my heart is more important than what Jesus said in the Gospels. No Christian thinks this way. Every Christian uses the Gospels as our account about the life of Jesus, about his teachings, his actions, and his deeds. And if any Christian says that they are an authority above Scripture, they are in error. Okay. So, one second. It is an Antichrist spirit it is an antichrist spirit to presume that you are the authority that can say who is a prophet. God is the one who says who is a prophet and he says so in the Bible. A prophet must speak in the name of Yahweh. A prophet must prophesy. And those prophecies must come true. A prophet must be a descendant of Isaac. Muhammad did none of these things, is none of these things. And so he is not a prophet. What we have here, what we have here is a guy who has his spirituality being influenced 
by the politics of the world. The politics of the world is pushing the idea of one Abrahamic faith, that all religions are the same, that they all teach the same. And he has imbibed that and he's communicating it through his sense of spirituality. But his sense of spirituality has no authority within the Christian church. Bro, I'm going to stop because this brother wants to ask a question. Have a good day.